And we are back regarding the uh, morning formation of the tribes and the uh, camp set up. It's very interesting. It is very exciting what's coming in the future because we understand from Revelation, the 20th chapter, that these places are going to be set in place as per the instructions of Moses. We understand each is going to have the... Uh, set of tribes they're going to be representing them and also it's very obvious then the people of Israel would start up with these because they have the understanding from of old and uh, not the fact that they're going to start in Jerusalem because the area over there is very troublesome at the time however we have the understanding of as many camps as they can set up the more prayers would be given and then the more the strengthening of these prayers would be gathered until Jerusalem is completely cleaned. So this is what is required. And uh, it's very interesting because at the moment we can understand the uh, many tribes. For instance, uh, Dan lived 125 years, Reuben 125, and then Shimon 120, Gad 125. So each of these they have a specific um, flag. For instance, uh, Zevulum it was in charge of the oceans. But obviously they would exercise these in their own land. So you must understand that in the world when the church is established and the perimeters are established, they do these in the spirit, not in the physical, actual world. And then obviously when the Goys, they come from the outside depending upon what the situation is going on it's going to be related with the areas and each area related with the world there is where to go to find those answers that's why the camp is complete so then the uh, factor of the nations coming in for teaching and instruction it would have the complete set of every trouble set in the world. So it's very interesting and that's why these must be done very fast so we can prepare ourselves for the future because based upon the uh, chapter 20th of Revelation nearly the end of the age then we can understand those camps they were there and we are behind Revelation yet because it's starting in the fourth chapter where the autumn feast then starts and what it is and what it means and obviously this information must be further uh, refined and uh, we can understand the importance of these because back in the old days this is what they did they were very experienced in this area and is merely a refreshment and the students are ready they are wanting to go in and being part of it and they must be taught they must be there they must be nourished each of these areas must be in place and then the representatives of each of these tribes and of course we understand when the students then would go out with a group at some point they would no longer have any more so many people of these tribes but the spirit from where these tribes were under is yet active in the earth so it doesn't take much for a person to understand that the guys from outside Yahshua said they would be granted the position of kings and priests so then they would be as per the desire of Ruach HaKodesh certain areas of influence of the world in an area of these tribes. How is it going to be? That's going to be in the hand of Kodesh. We don't have to be concerned with it because in a camp we know it, it is complete and he does his best. We then only are obedient to do what Moses said to do. This is what is very important and the encouragement of the Hebrew brothers outside and they have lots of land, farmland, make sure they start up these camps because this is what's coming in Revelation 
and this was the planet first and then we can understand why Yahshua when he came every time he was speaking of he would give the original plan and we can understand sometimes uh, many parts of the Gospels and he was only teaching the relink and then in many times in many situations he was cleaning up junk start evaluating from the time Yahshua began to be very active most of the time he was involved in cleaning up junk he was involved with the uh, leaders they were very contaminated they were uh, very uh, uh, sad on their ways unfortunately they were very evil and they, they were, were only a hindrance and Yasha was every time trying to clean them out, out of the, uh, their places and he tried to do by trying to saving them but they refused but understanding the uh, original plan we can then have an understanding what it is there is the layout of the camp there is the layout of the holy area there is the layout of the outside where Erev Rav is at mixed multitude and then those mixed multitude in our time obviously is the place where the Sanhedrin would be their homes and then the students their living quarters and those people then they would be in charge with the functions of Ruach Kodesh and then the very outside area is the plantation or the service area where the people the Goys the faithful Goys is going to provide them with so then closes the whole circle then there is the complete camp and the setup ready to go he only takes those saved Hebrew brothers with land and wealth to get it started because we must understand we as the Goys must provoke Israel to jealousy we had a video before regarding this and it is very important because as then the camps are obedient they are going to perceive a moving of the Holy Spirit or the Ruach Kodesh but in the camps they are only going to speak Hebrew there is no other language spoken in a camp and then from there other groups are going to be formed so then we have the plan what it takes only the Hebrew brothers they have lots of land farmland and start up building the camps and then obviously in, during this time the uh, holy place is going to take care of the spiritual line and then cleansing of the spiritual line so the goys outside it would be linked with including those goys they are going to be working in the evil area of the world they have to be linked somewhere and they are going to have a copy of what Yahshua says so they have as a guideline that's why uh, Shaul when he was preaching to the other countries and they were acting as animals he had to come up with guidelines very fast because boy these people they don't have any understanding and this is what we have Corinthians and we have the understanding of the then the Acts and then we have the understanding of the Romans and what they did in their countries and so on and so forth those guidelines they must be a bit more refined and then of course they are going to be given so they can live by and live by faith besides the special words they are going to receive via prophecy so it starts shaping up very nicely in fact so then please stay tuned much more is coming up and then we're going to kind of explore a bit more what would be in the world the places to go where would be the best places and then what kind of work would they be doing so then they can have their own provisions because they must be independent they can't have any kind of a outside influence of money outside influence of the system and computers none of those as it was before the guys outside they do the work 
they are the service people then they take care of the rest so then we can get at least this area resolved because the world is absolutely without direction without these camps there is no direction in the world there are only influences of Ruach Kodesh, but then the Goys, where they get their understanding from. They must have nourishment from the uh, Torah grace, and then the understanding of the future via the Torah vengeance. So this must be done, and very fast. So please stay tuned.